basically what this is going to do is lead to hair loss, dryness, flakiness, in some cases scalp inflammation and irritation. So number one, you're going to want to have... Oh, welcome to another Curly Chemistry video. I'm so glad you are here. Today, we are talking about three major threats to your scalp health and how to avoid them, okay? Scalp care is the foundation to healthier hair, and we're gonna go ahead and get it all together in this one video, okay? You guys know, it's any time, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, number one, the first threat to your scalp health is gonna be poor scalp hygiene. And when I say poor scalp hygiene, I'm really referring to buildup on the scalp that is consisting of dirt, oil, sweat, old product, all the things. And basically what this is going to do is lead to hair loss, dryness, flakiness, in some cases, scalp inflammation and irritation. So number one, you're gonna wanna have a hydrating shampoo. That's going to be key because no one wants a dry scalp. And a lot of times a dry scalp, itchy scalp, flaky scalp is tied to a lack of moisture. So always go for a hydrating shampoo. You wanna use this at least once a week or once every other week. Number two, you do wanna incorporate a clarifying shampoo. Now you don't have to use this as often as a hydrating shampoo, but you know, it's kinda of good to use at least once every other month or maybe once a month, depending on the type of product that you use on your hair and your scalp to kind of reset the scalp to kind of get it back to where it needs to be. Now the third thing you want to do is use exfoliator. This can be a physical like brush or it can be a liquid like salicylic acid serums. Now these are going to be great because they help to unclog the follicles and clogged follicles can actually stunt your hair growth. So basically all of this is going to be really beneficial and creating a healthy scalp environment on a consistent basis to help produce healthier hair. The second thing I will say is lack of blood circulation. That's going to be your number two threat to your scalp health because where there is a lack of blood flow there will always be a lack of hair growth because our blood carries oxygen it carries nutrients to the follicle to help support consistent hair growth so number one check your iron levels at least twice a year okay if you can that's going to be really really beneficial you can take iron supplements i just started taking a liquid iron supplement that i really like i'll post it up here in the in the video and of course i'll have it below at my amazon store as well but iron is going to be key for maintaining healthier growth and healthy hair overall a free and easy way to help support blood circulation to the scalp is going to be scalp massages that is something that i feel like is not done enough in our hair care regimen if you do this at least once a day preferably at nighttime before you go to bed like make it a part of your nighttime routine this is going to help to support healthy blood flow to the follicle you can do this for three to five minutes. And doing this for four weeks straight, you should see an improvement in your hair growth, but also in reducing dryness as well, because that massaging also helps to stimulate sebum within the follicles to come to the surface of the scalp to help reduce a dry, itchy scalp. So don't sleep on scalp massages, they are amazing. The last thread I wanna share is your diet. This is one that I see pretty often. I just had a call, a hair coaching call with someone, and she mentioned that she noticed when she was eating a lot of sugar and candy, her hair started thinning really bad. And then she stopped eating all the high sugary foods, and they said, you know, her hair started growing more and the thinning ceased completely. So your diet is gonna be a huge game changer. So if you are currently watching this video and you are experiencing thinning of the hair or even a stunted hair growth, change your diet. Less sugary foods, less soda, less chips. You're gonna see a huge difference when it comes to the growth of your hair, but also the health of your scalp. All right, girlfriends, hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like this video and then stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content. Hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for the next video. And of course, I do have a question for you. What is your current scalp care routine? Like, what do you currently do for your scalp that you are seeing results with? Maybe it's exfoliating, maybe it's massaging, maybe it's just you keeping up with your wash day and shampooing your hair and your scalp. Whatever it is, comment below, let us all know, and I can't wait to see your responses. For more quality chemistry resources and eBooks, and of course, signing up for hair care coaching with your girl, check out the link below for more information. And if you're ready to start your own hair care line, I would love to connect with you to get your idea from your mind to fruition to creating a successful hair care line. Of course, the Hydrating Herbal Hair Tea Rinse is back in stock. So if you do not have your bag, definitely go ahead 
ahead and check it out. It's a great way to shorten your wash day and also increase the slip and the hydration of your conditioner. So definitely check it out for more information. The link is below. All right, guys, I love it. I'll talk to you guys soon.